guys. So I've been asked to create a tutorial for Charm Effect Nails using gel polish. I've been using magnetic uh, gel polish and um, I found that it's worked really really well in creating that effect. Not all gel polishes spread as easy as um, this red one does though. So whether you're using magnetic or whatever gel polish you're using, have a practice first to make sure that it works before you pop it on your client. Practice with the, uh, the nail pops. So what I've done here is two coats of gel polish and cured it and I am about to put on the magnetic top gel. Now, magnetic top gel is a really versatile gel for you to put on any of your nail enhancements or gel polishes. And you can actually even use it on nail, nail polish itself because it is actually that flexible. Because it is a thicker gel, because it's a brush on gel, it means it is slightly thicker and obviously gel polish is a little bit thinner so it seems to have that ability to spread within the molecules of the top gel. So I'm using a small amount of top gel and I'll make sure that I apply it evenly but also keeping it quite thin. When you use a brush on top gel it's very easy to put quite a large amount on but if you make it too thick, the gel polish will spread really quickly before you've had time to finish. And I think sometimes that's where the problem can be. So you can see there, I've made it as thin as possible. I've just been a little bit careful around the sides. Make sure it's even because you don't want to have to do too much buffing or neatening after you've created the effect. So this one is Ferrari Red. No, sorry, it's Redemption Red, beg your pardon. And I've popped it on a tile at the side, just decanted a, a small amount, and I'm going to be using my rhinestone detailer brush to pick up the small amount of gel. As you can see here, I'm just working on copying something. And I'm also, with the charm nails, you can cover the whole nail with it, but I really like the effect of creating a small flower just at the side of a nail as well. I also think that makes it salon viable. So you do need to work quite quickly because it does spread quite quickly. Add a little bit more onto your brush each time and just draw your petals in the way, the way that you would do with a brush in small sweeping motions. Fill in the gaps. You can already see how it's spreading itself out quite nicely. I think at this point you could probably leave it at that, but me being me, I tend to carry on and do a little bit more. And there we have it. So cure that in your ultraviolet light for um, two minutes. Uh, because you've used the, the top gel, um, you want to be doing it for four minutes to get a really good high gloss shine. You could leave it at, at that um, and add the details in afterwards if you wanted to. 
hope that's helped.